Okay, welcome. Today is going to be about PID controllers. Today I have the Auber 30 step ramp soak PID controller, and then I also have just the time, time temperature controller. Um, so, for starters, a PID controller, it stands for proportional integral derivative. Basically, they are fancy temperature controllers that will um, monitor the the temperature drop and the temperature rise, and it'll it'll calculate for that um, using some algorithms, and it'll make it to where it'll maintain the temperature a lot more accurately than say a thermostat. So you have the set value, SV, okay, and that's usually green in these, okay, and then you also have the process value, and that's the red one. So the set value is what you want it to be, and the process value var or variable is what it actually is reading. So right now I want it to be 149, but it's actually only 73 in here because I have it turned off. Um, so here's an example of a thermostat versus a PID controller. So a thermostat, you have the temperature, which is in green, and every time the temperature drops below the set point, it'll power on the, um, the heat, heating source or cooling source, depending on what you're doing. And the power source will stay on until you hit that set point again and, or the, above that set point, and then it'll turn off. So you can see there's a lot more fluctuation in temperature. Usually it's a degree or two. With a PID controller, what happens is, and this is actually showing a temperature rise with the step, this is the 30 step ramp, so there's actually like four steps. Um, so I have it coming up from, from nothing, you know, warming up to 240, and then once it gets to 240, you can see that it's, the element is turning on every couple seconds and making that temperature much more steady. Um, and then once I get to 240, at the end of the time, it'll go, I'll go down to 230. So what I do is for this example, it would be making spawn. Usually I let it run for about 10 or 20 minutes. Usually I do 10 minutes at a, a higher temperature, making the rocker go harder. And that purges out all the, the air and makes it to where it's just steam. And then I lower the temperature for, you know, hundred and something minutes. And that's the actual cook time. Um, so that's what this is showing. And then at the end of it, it's the, the end and it'll end the process and shut everything off. So that's the ramp soak uh, 30 step. Uh, the timer one would just bring it up to here and then stop it here. You can't have the, you don't have the luxury of lowering the temperatures. Um, one of the advantages of doing the lower is like I'll use it for uh, agar. And what I do is when it cooks, once it's done, I'll bring it down to one, uh, 150 or 140 or whatever it is and have it hold it there for hours so it'll be ready to pour whenever I want to. Alright, so now the fun stuff, the programming. I'm going to start off with the 30 step ramp soak. Um, so for starters, let me try to get both this in frame. So for starters, um, you're going to want to go ahead and press AM, okay? And that's going to get you into the, the temperature uh, step mode. So right now it's telling you that step 6 is 244 Fahrenheit, okay? So if I wanted to adjust that, I can go up and down, okay? And then I could also move the decimal point over and move it around like that too, okay? If I wanted if I wanted to go to the next, like that's good, I would just hit set, or I'm sorry, yes, yeah, set. And now it's the time for step six, okay? Um, so then this is gonna go for 10 minutes. And then it'll go to temperature set point for step seven, 244. Okay, and if I wanted to adjust that, adjust that. And then the time is one, so I just have that, so that way, if you set it, um, like let's say if I set it, the step one at 240 and the step two at 235, the whole time it'll slowly be lowering the temperature. If you want it to be a steady, you have to have a little like one minute um, time where it's at the same temperature at the beginning from the end, otherwise it's gonna be ramping down. It's a ramp soap, soak uh, controller. So if you want it to soak and not ramp, you have to have a one set at 240 and then the next step set at 240 and then you can step it down um, if that makes any sense. So yeah, once again, we're gonna go in there, hold the set button and anytime you don't press the button for, and now I'm into the programs, I, I hit it too long. Anytime you, um, you don't touch a button for 10 seconds, it goes back to the home setting. So it'll look like that. Um, so I just gotta wait a couple seconds here. All right, so quick set it. Quick, uh, quickly hit, um, I'm sorry, quickly hit AM. And then, um, yeah, so that's how you do all the steps. And then you can see, I'll, I'll run through it really quick. Step A is 149. So this is actually the agar setting. Um, and it's 299 minutes. And then after that, 
it's 149 and negative 121. So after that 299 minutes is up, it shuts off. Um, and then, so that's the end of the process. And what it'll do is it'll flash stop. Um, from there, what you can do is, like let's say, so I have different programs. Like I'll have this one, it's for the Presto, and I'll do bags in it, like spawn bags, or I'll do agar. So steps one through four is for bags. So if I wanted to say, jump to step one, and just do bags, and I'm not doing agar, I don't need to reprogram the whole thing. All I do is, I just hit, um, let me try to get that in frame so you guys can see. Um, you just press, to jump the steps, you press set, and then you use the arrows and hit set. So we're gonna hit set, and then I'm gonna go to step one, because I wanna do bags, and then I'm gonna hit set. And now it's in step one, okay, which should be the warm up. It's gonna be 10 minutes of uh, like 243, something like that. Um, yeah, 10 minutes of 200, I, I missed what that was, 200. The settings are all wacky. I gotta play with this thing. But um, yeah, so that's how that works. Hopefully you guys get it. Uh, the main advantage of this over that one is you can do the ramp soak to where you can have the rocker rocking hard and then decrease it to where during the soak part, it's just barely even rocking and that lets you run less water, especially when you're doing like the AA941, the bigger pressure cooker. Um, and you only want to put a half inch of water in there so you can fit more spawn, not having that rocker rocking lets you um, fit uh, less water in there and have a lower false bottom and then fit more grain in there. Um, so then moving on to the, the timer one, which is much, much simpler. I probably should have started with it first, honestly. This one, it only has two different settings. It has te time and temperature, okay? So if you want to adjust, uh, if you want to adjust the time, what you're going to do, and that's over here. Timer, hold down to change time. So all you do is you press the down button. And it doesn't want to go. Okay. 149. So if I wanted to, once again, adjust that like this. Move the decimal over. Okay. That's how you adjust the time. All right. Set. And then, I guess it has two episodes, time one and time two. Um, and then to change the temperature, you would hit the up button and then you would adjust the temperature. So this one's much better if you're doing like, say a, a sterilizer drum, like one of the Bubba's mushroom sterilizers or um, the cabinets or a trough setup or whatever the heck you're using. Um, if you want to make it to where it's not blowing steam the whole time, you could have one of these bad boys dialed in like just below boiling, uh, whatever your boiling point is at your, your, your elevation and then once it gets that temperature, it'll, it'll just maintain that temperature instead of just blowing steam all the time. Uh, especially if you have like a 6,000 watt element, that's a lot of steam just blowing out into your lab or into your facility. Um, and it's some stinky steam and, and that can cause some issues with you know, the wife or, or neighbors if you're just blowing mushroom bag steam everywhere. So a PID controller should help with, with um, reducing the smell from your, with your steamer. So um, this one, I probably, I, well, I do actually use it for the, the All-American, but if you're gonna get one to run a, uh, a pressure cooker, you probably wanna get the, the ramp soak one so you can do more fancy things like have a shorter cycle without having to reprogram it and do things like the agar, the holding temperature uh, feature. That's really handy. Um, it's been a lifesaver for me, especially when I have my classes and we're pouring agar for you know 30 or 40 minutes. Um, in the past, by the time the last student went, the, it would be gelling up. So with this, it, it kind of keeps the, the pressure cooker like an oven, keeps it nice and warm at 150 degrees, and then it, the first and the last student are all pouring at the same temperature so they get the same experience. Um, so hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully it helped out uh, if, you're, if you're trying to program one of these PID controllers. Um, and uh, I hope to do more videos that are kind of more classroom-ish like this, but hopefully I'll have a classroom with a new location. Um, kind of cramped in a corner right now, but hey, I got it done. So make sure you like this video, keep on mushrooming, check out myersmushrooms.com if you need cultivation supplies like mushroom bags, uh, you know, the filter patch bags, and uh, check out mykit.com slash myersmushrooms too for, for other cultivation supplies off of Amazon and other affiliate websites. Have a good one, take it easy.